Hello friends, myself advocate Deepika. So today we will learn about what is the significance of communication. In the previous lecture, I have discussed with you about what is the importance of business communication and what is business communication. And in today's lecture, we will discuss about significance of communication. So first is facilitates coordination and planning. Effective communication ensures that information is clearly passed between various departments and stakeholders facilitating coordination operation efficiency and effective planning second is enhances management efficiency communication helps in setting expectations providing feedback and giving clear instructions which are essential for effective management and decision making. next is promotes motivation and morale open and Honest communication boosts employee morale and motivation by making team members feel valued and understood. This conflict resolution. Efficient communication plays a critical role in resolving conflicts by addressing misunderstandings and fostering mutual respect and understanding. Next is builds relationships. Whether in a personal or professional setting, communication is the backbone of building strong and durable relationships through trust and empathy. Next is sports decision making. The availability of complete and accurate information enables better decision making at all levels of an organization. This ensures transparency. Regular and clear or uh, communication within an organization promotes transparency and makes the organizational processes more democratic. The last is cultural exchange. In global organization, effective communication is crucial for managing cultural diversity and ensuring that cultural differences are respected and integrated. Other points are also there. For example, customer relations. Effective communication with customer builds trust, addresses their needs and foster loyalty, thus impacting the business positively. Yes. Adaptability and learning. Continuous communication helps organizations and individuals to adapt by learning from feedback and adjusting strategies accordingly. These are the significance of communication. And the next is types of communication. So what are the types of communication? Verbal, non-verbal, written, visual, interpersonal, group, mass, formal, informal and digital. We will learn in detail. First is verbal communication. This includes spoken words either face to face or over the phone. It's immediate and allows the for instant Next feedback. Next is non-verbal communication. This involves conveying messages without the use of words such as through body language, facial expression, gestures and tone of voice. Written communication. Messages conveyed through written words including emails, letters, reports and text messages. This is visual communication. Communication through visual ads such as charts, graphs, diagram, maps, symbols and videos. This is interpersonal communication. It means direct communication between individuals often in a one on one or small group setting. Next is co group communication. Communication that occurs within a group setting involving multiple individuals interacting with each other. This is mass communication. Communication to a large audience through medium such as television, radio, newspaper, magazines, website and social media. Next is formal communication. Structured and official communication with an organization such as company, policies, procedures and official announcements. This is informal communication that occurs within social settings or through unofficial channels such as gossips or casual conversation. Last one is digital communication. Communication facilitates through digital platforms and technologies including emails, instant messaging, social media and video conferencing. And the next is benefits of communication. So what are the benefits of communication? First is clarity, improved relationship, increased productivity, innovation and creativity, problem solving, enhanced leadership, personal development and social connection. So now we will discuss this in detail. First is clarity. Effective communication ensures that messages are clearly understood by all parties involved, minimizing misunderstandings, confusion and ambiguity. Next is improved relationships. Communication fostered better relationships by promoting understanding, trust and empathy. 
open and honest communication helps resolve conflicts strengthen bond next is increased productivity clear communication within terms and organization enhances efficiency and productivity when everyone understands their roles and responsibilities and objectives tasks are completed more effectively and goals are achieved more efficiently next is innovation and creativity communication encourages the exchange of ideas perspectives and feedback which fuels innovation and creativity next is problem solving effective communication facilitates problem solving by enabling individuals to share information identify issues and collaborate on resolving challenges collectively enhanced leadership strong communication skills are essential for effective leadership leaders who can articulate their vision goals and expectations clearly inspires confidence and motivate others to perform at their Next best personal development communication skills are crucial for personal growth and development by improving communication abilities individuals can enhance their self expression active listening and emotional intelligence which are valuable in both personal and professional contexts as social connection communication is fundamental for building and maintaining social connection whether through face to face interaction phone calls or digital communication channels staying connected with friends family and colleagues are enriches our lives and provides emotional support we learn about significance of communication types of communication and benefits of communication i hope you like this lecture thank you